For people who aren't already familiar with the film, can you give us a brief summary of what it's all about? This film is set in 1987. It's a coming-of-age story. It's a story of a young uh, Pakistani kid who basically hates his life, comes from a very uh, traditional, conventional family, is expected to do certain things, including having an arranged marriage, all things he doesn't want to do. And when he can't really see a way out, his life is then transformed by the um, uh, incidental introduction to Bruce Springsteen's music, and that changes everything. He feels that this man who lives in uh, Asbury Park, New Jersey, is a mirror image of him himself in Berry Park, Luton, and is speaking to him. And it's really about the power of music to connect people, to transform people's lives, and really makes the point very powerfully of what it is that ties people together and connects people. And there's far more than there is that um, separates people. And, it, and uh, yes, it makes that point with an enormous amount of humor and a lot of laughs along the way and quite a few tears. And it's based on the true story of a journalist and obviously got Gurinder Chada there at the helm and an incredible cast. So from the, as a, the angle of being a producer on this film, what was your experience of bringing it to screen? Um, I met, uh, I, I had a couple of when Gurinder first uh, went up, then brought it to me and talked to me about it and then showed uh, me the script, the I immediately kind of understood uh, what it had and that it would have so this like I, um, power, power to draw I mean, people like in. And most importantly, in right, this right, day and age, would have the power to get people off their sofas, out of their houses and into the cinema because by weaving the music in in the way that she does, making it almost a hybrid musical, it makes it a very powerful communal experience, um, something which really is, you know, even more forceful by virtue of the fact that you're sitting in a room with hopefully hundreds of other people. And um, and I think producing a film in the current climate, you have to really be aware of that, how strong material is on television, how reluctant people are to go out to the cinema, spend the money, inconvenience themselves, unless there's an incredibly good reason. And, um, and I think, hopefully, this film will give people that reason. And were you always a big Bruce Springsteen fan or was this something that you had to learn along the way? I have to rather embarrassingly confess that I always liked Bruce Springsteen but I had never gone to that very deep Bruce Springsteen place but I have now hugely and also knowing quite a lot now about who he is, how he really is the real thing in terms of how he lives his life as well as his music I think and, and it's interesting that I have a teenage daughter who um, was about 14 when she first came across his music because she was in the production office all the time and she's an incredible convert. If you ask her who her favourite musician is, it is Bruce Springsteen without a shadow of a doubt because yes, if I think once people hear that music and really listen to the words, it's unbelievably powerful even for, for very young people now. So in some sense it's kind of like an ode to pop music, the power of music, but there's also a strong like kind of social background that's, that's brought out through the film. So what do you think is people are going to take away from it and why do you think it's particularly relevant to have this film right now? Well, the film is more relevant now than one would ever have feared it would be because um, it is it is very much the story about how we are all connected, that we are not separate from each other. The music has the power to bring people together. Uh, I mean, a lot of the things are very obvious. I mean, at the time of the film in 1987 and Thatcher's Britain, it was a very, uh, very... Um, flagrant racism, packies go home and all of that stuff. Now it takes a more subtle form, perhaps not that subtle in the current climate. One would never have thought that it would be as relevant today as it is, but it, but it, it is the case. And I think it's a, I think the thing that's important is that it's, um, it's a message of optimism. It's the fact that actually, you know, people are united, they are joined together. It's an optimistic message and it's not a kind of political message that hits you over the head. It's just there, implicit, for those who want to understand it, and, and always told in the spirit of optimism, I think. Amazing. Well, thank you so much for your time, and congratulations. Thank you very much.